Hi and welcome back to the channel. From the Belgian Grand Prix, the FI have stated a new technical directive to help with the pool poising. After persistent complaints from drivers about safety that of course are happening due to the new 2022 regulations and cars. Underfloor planks were introduced to make sure cars don't run too low to the ground to such that the airflow sucks them dangerously to the floor, which of course in turn leads to the pool poising. I covered pool poising and what that is in a previous video and I've linked that below if you've not seen it before. The plank will determine how low the central part of the plank could run on the floor prior to the 2022 regs downforce was generated differently and it was generated by running the car at an angle and at a certain rate to obviously generate this downforce with these new 2022 cars however it's advantageous to run the cars as low as possible to the floor to of course maximize the venturi effect and cause this downforce any means of delaying this onset of aerodynamics bouncing or pole poising will allow the car to be run as low as possible and generate the downforce there's been a lot of debate to see whether of certain teams red bull and ferrari specifically have found a loophole in this regulations to of course benefit them and of course run the floor as low as possible. This is exactly what the new technical directive in force combats. The FI has now defined a metric to measure this pool poising which means they will monitor going forward the vertical G forces. This will be done at two specific sections of each track during the race. If a car exceeds this threshold, teams will be notified and they will have three races to rectify this issue. At the same time, the FI are also looking at plank wear as well as flex flexibility in that floor. A 2mm flexibility tolerance has been allowed to the teams and a minimum thickness of 9mm on the plank to of course account for wear and tear. All of this has been done with the intention of bringing the teams closer together. However, based on the evidence and from Spa, we can see that Red Bull have really not been effective and are really clear of the rest of the field. And it looks like another Adrian Newey masterstroke that the team looks very clear ahead of any other team. However, only time will tell as we've only had three races since Spa. On the face of it, it looks like for have been affected the most as it's been reported that they had to produce a brand new floor due to this new technical directive even though the team principal Matteo Benotto came out to say that it wouldn't affect them as much. We've had three races since of course that new directive and Max has won all three and by some margin and as well let's not forget he had engine penalties of two of those races. This goes to show the sheer dominance of that car this year and that the new technical directive rule has not affected them one bit. If anything it looks like it made them faster as it affected Ferrari to make them go slower. Time would tell if of course this will have a lingering effect on teams moving forward as the FIA will measure the plank more closely. But as mentioned, it's been three races so far and no mention of any teams breaking those new rules. So it seems that all flaws are now legal and that the changes or non-changes for some teams have now set the order for the rest of the season. And as mentioned, Red Bull look to be clear at the top with that. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Foyers and I cover everything Formula 1. Make sure you click the subscribe button below for more F1 news, analysis and opinion. If you've liked this video, click the like button below. This will really help the YouTube algorithm.